I reviewed Haywood Golf Irons for the first time a few years ago and was impressed. They didn't blow my mind, but for the cost versus the performance, they were fantastic. And now Haywood have released the MB and the CB irons, which they say are 100% milled. Now this would normally skyrocket the price, but both sets of these irons from four iron to pitch and wedge cost 600 and 50 pounds. And that is almost a third of the price of some of their competitors. So are these irons too good to be true or are they an absolute bargain? Now I do have some issues with these irons, which we will get into, but I have to say they look and sound just superb. <laughs> so the CB irons are designed for players who need a little bit more forgiveness while these MB irons, these are for better ball strikers. Even just putting it behind the ball now, it just looks very, very small. The sound on that though. Oh, get it. So these irons are forged, but according to Haywood, they're also 100% CNC milled. Now forging is a process of pressing the head into shape. While CNC milling, it uses a computer and a milling machine to get very precise tolerances when designing a golf club. Now we'll get back into the milling and the forging process shortly, but I have to say the result so far just feels fantastic. <laughs> Super impressed. Go on, kick off that bang. That flew a long way, that. A little bit downwind, but we are 240 yards away. <laughs> So I like the look of a blade. So the MBs are really catching my attention. We've got a very thin top line. You can also see the actual milling effect on these clubs, which looks really cool. They just look quite subtle, quite simple, but very elegant. You can see like other bladed irons, the MB and the CB have this central cut design. So this takes weight away from the top of the club head, which can then be repositioned behind the impact area. But bear in mind what I've done on that graphic there is I've compared the Haywoods to irons, which are just <laughs> so much more expensive. Now, it should give you an indication of how highly I rank these irons if I'm comparing them to clubs which are that much more expensive. But guys, if you are enjoying this video and you do like the reviews that we do on the channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Also, like this video. I'm just hitting some little glidey seven irons here under the wind. It just feels so nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed so far. But there are a few things that I don't like about these irons. With the MBs, the sole is very, very thin and there doesn't actually seem to be a massive amount of bounce angle there. So they might have the tendency to dig. Now I'm only saying this, and this is in the back of my mind, because the Haywood wedges that I tested had a similar issue. There just wasn't quite enough give in that sole to make turf interaction a little bit more pleasant. I'm not saying that so far today, but it is in the back of my mind. Also, Haywood say these clubs are 100% milled, but they're also forged. Now forging and milling, they're two separate processes. So I think what Haywood would have have to have done with these irons is forge the club head into a rough shape and then mill it into the precise specs that they actually wanted. Now you could say that that's probably the best of both worlds. This angle by the way on the fourth here at Reddish. Look at that. Not one to be hooking this t-shirt. When I put those MBs down behind the ball the toe seems to be quite long as well. It seems like an elongated club head. If I compared those to say the Tiger Woods blades which have already kind of shown in this video, they're a lot more compact. I'm gonna try and hit a draw. Oh God. Oh, 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 zoom in on the fin. I think I like the CBs even more than the MBs. The design on the CBs, they're just a little bit bigger. So you can see how the back just extends out a touch more. They've still got that center cut. The sole is a little bit wider and the top line is a little bit thicker. But the feel on them is, is fantastic. It's just as good. And I'm just hitting these little draws back into this wind. That needs to sit though, sit. Oh, what a kick. They even get lucky bounces. <laughs> now for me, the sign of an elite iron, and this is something that you get from say Mizuno's, those really good 
forge blades is that they manage to shape the club head so there's a concentration of mass right behind impact. So it feels both powerful and soft at the same time. And this is exactly how these irons feel. I'll tell you what, very consistent there. If I'm being honest, the similarities between the feel of the MBs and the CBs is so close, I don't really know if there's much point if I was to get the MBs over the CBs. The CBs offer a little bit more forgiveness. Yes, they look a little bit chunky behind the ball, but that is nothing I wouldn't be able to get over. <laughs> right, just a little less draw. That's all we want. Oh, keep on coming. They're going further though. They're going further. <laughs> so I can see how these irons would suit different players. So I would say that the CB, that's going to be a handicap range of about 8 to 16. Whereas the MBs, that is very much 8 and below. Now one reason for this is on off centre strikes, the MBs really do offer very little forgiveness. The toe strikes in particular really do fall out of the air. So I've got 169 here. The first shot I hit was with an A time. So this is the MB. I'll strike this one out of the toe. So pretty much exactly the same swing. And what we're we looking at there, like a 15 yards difference as far as carry is concerned. But both these irons have pretty much exactly the same specs as you can see here from loft to lie. The only difference is there is a little bit more offset in the CB irons. Offset in the most general terms is the leading edge of the club is set back a little bit more from the hosel. It allows the club face a little bit more time to close. But behind the ball, as I'm looking at this, it looks good. I mean, the top edge, again, looks like a little bit thick, but that offset isn't aggressive. I don't feel like I'm going to hook this miles to the left. Now, the way these clubs sit in the bag, they do look really premium. You could definitely turn up to a club like Royal Lytham here with them in the bag and say that you splashed a lot of cash on them. Now, I've only had these irons for a week, so I don't really know how durable they're going to be in the long term, but I've never met a forged iron that doesn't attract nicks and bumps like like honey attracts the bear. Are they good enough to warrant getting iron covers? That is, of course, one of the greatest questions in golf. Oh, I'll tell you what, if this goes in, I'm gonna get iron covers. Whatever irons I use in the future, I'm getting iron covers. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be good. Uh-oh. Never wanted a shot to miss quite so much in my life. One of the reasons that these irons are so cheap in comparison to some of their competitors is that they are direct to consumers. So they cut out the need for a middleman. They cut out the need to go to a shop. This is good because it keeps the cost down, but it also has a negative effect because you can't have that same level of expertise and you can't get custom fit for these irons. So let's say that I don't know my club specifications, but I want a set of these irons. The first thing I'm gonna to have to do to be absolutely sure that they're right is go to a club fitter. Now that's gonna set me back 50 to 100 pounds, depending on where you go. So that's an added extra. On the Haywood website, there are actually some decent options as far as changing specs, but again, this starts to up the cost. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a set of the Haywood CBs here, and I'm gonna go through the process of just making them more personalized to me. So configure my irons. So it starts out at 650 pounds here, so four to pitch in wedge, yep, that's great. Right-handed, yep. So fog silver finish. So loft adjustment, I'm not going to touch because I'm just gonna play the lofts as they are, but I do need my clubs to be two degrees flat. So that's an extra 15. Now shaft wise, I use the dynamic gold tour issue. That's another 150 quid in X stiff. Iron length, that's gonna be the actual same. I'll keep the Hayward grip, but if I got these irons through, I'd actually be changing them to my big fat grips as well, so that'd be enough cost. I absolutely love the look of those white and silver ferrules. We've all got our fetishes. So at the end of this process from these adaptions, the price has gone from 650 pounds to 830. Now, of course, you wouldn't need to change anything. You could just keep them as standard, but just be aware that even though the cost is cheap compared to competitors, if you want them fully spec for you, it is gonna cost you more money. 
Something which is cool here, you can actually combine sets. So you get a combo set. So let's say you have the MBs from wedge until eight iron, then from seven iron up till four iron, you have the CBs. This is a good option because with those longer irons, you can have a little bit more forgiveness. And because the specs are so similar, you shouldn't actually see too much of a difference in performance as you change from the bladed club into the more cavity back version. So in conclusion, these irons are fantastic for the cost. Yes, there might be a few hidden extras in there if you really wanted to, but for the standard set, they're both fantastic. Also that you can combine them into a combo might be the best of both worlds. To be honest, I actually think that the CB is more interesting than the MB. Performance wise and feel wise, it's more forgiving, feels the same, trajectory is fantastic. I'm actually gonna be starting a new Build My Bag series. And I think these irons actually might be in contention. They're different, they're unique in many ways. And I just keep coming back to that cost difference. Very, very impressive. But of course, I wanna know what you think. So get down into those comments below. Have you used Haywood clubs before? Have you seen them? And what do you think after seeing this review? And guys, if you wanna see some more reviews on irons, if you are making a selection, may I recommend these here.